uh, introduction of mine. Okay, thank you so much. I will give you some very good qualities today, which you can adopt and you can leave an everlasting impression. Uh, thank you, General Sir. Uh, Shreema Sir, I also would like to thank and welcome all the particular members of Indian Senior Chamber, my friends, my colleagues of CJR RJS FG College and PU College, couple of uh, students, past students have also joined. And uh, I also would like to welcome uh, the other friends of mine who are coming, uh, who have joined from different parts of India. Okay, with this, let me start sharing the uh, screen with the PPTs that I have prepared for the occasion. JP, can I share the yes, screen? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. This is the program which I am uh, presenting to you today. What is it? How to adopt to have an everlasting impression. Okay. And I have got my own training center called Enrich Minds. And I have completed my doctorate and I am a soft skill trainer along with a English faculty where I am teaching for degree as well as a PU student in our college, CJR, RJS, PU and uh, FG college. Okay. Is making an impression easy? Okay. This is a question. Everybody have made impressions with the other people around. We can all make an impression. There are different ways in which we can make impression. But for few people, this is easy. But for a few people, it is not that very easy. Have people made an impression by their gesture, acts, qualities, or their traits? Yes, they have done. Some people with their gestures, they are able to win the hearts of the people. Some people with their acts, they are able to win the hearts of the people. On the same lines, few people with their outstanding qualities and traits, they are able to leave an everlasting impression in the minds and hearts of the people. Now try to think of a person who has made an everlasting impression in your life in a very first meeting. First time he gave Madadiki master. This is how that we have seen, we have observed some people. Now, what came to your mind the moment you heard the word humpanch? Everybody may, might have thought of so many different things. But what I am going to present may be a little different from what you are thinking. Some might have thought, uh, am I going to speak about Panchabhutas? No. Am I going to speak of Pancha Pandavas? No. Am I going to speak something about the comedy serial Hampanch? It's surely not that also. The concept or the name I have picked from that particular serial which I saw long, long ago. Okay. We also had a movie by name Hampanch which was not a very big hit. Now, I'm not going to take a session on any of this. It is something very simpler, very nice, very refreshing. And we can learn a good lot of things from that. Now, let's know something new from the alphabets A, B, C, D, E. Okay, on TPA training, which is uh, the name coined for all the Tuesdays program, even though uh, we are not starting this at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock when we have tea, a little before lunch, okay, we are doing a training. And this is from Indian senior chamber and let me see what we can learn from the alphabets A, B, C, D, E here, which I am going to present you under the heading hum punch. These are the five punch people, A, B, C, D, E. What is it that A stands for? Let me see. Is it A for apple? No, it is A for ant. You all have seen ants. There are a lot of things that we can learn from ants. And if you Google, you can see something called as ants philosophy. 
couple of years back, for the very first time, somehow I came across this particular thing called as ant philosophy. And it was very, very interesting. And I'm sure that if you have not come across or gone into any details of this, today, I'm sure you will start loving the ants more than what you were doing all these years. Many of them like these ants, even though they are not even half a gram, one gram. Okay, a lot of things we can learn from this. What is it? What is it that we can learn from this small creature, small living being, which we are very close to every day. We see it in our house, outside the house, when we are traveling to any place, even if it is a train, in a moving train, we can see it. Okay, in the garden, you can see it. Let us see. There is something called as ants philosophy, which we all have to know and adopt. It's really, really interesting. Okay, but I would like to tell you very first thing that we should know and try to adopt from an ant is they never give up. I and you sometimes may give up, but these ants you have seen, I have seen a very small thing which wants to carry anything to one place to another place, it will never give up. It goes from this side to that side, pulls it, pushes it, climbs on top of it, but somehow it makes it. So this is one very nice thing about the ant, which I have also liked. Second one, they are highly disciplined. Have you all not seen? They go in a line. They do things very systematically. Every time, whenever we have seen ants, more than one, they all go in an order. They all go one behind other, which we do not do when we are moving on the roads. Maybe something from these ants, if you are able to adopt and become more disciplined, I'm telling, not telling that you people are not disciplined, but something we can become more disciplined looking at the ants. Okay. Third one, they stay positive. Negative approach, no. They always are positive. How they have to do a particular work, they keep on thinking in a very positive way. You keep a stone in between, you keep your hand in between, some or the other it is going to do, it will never give up and it is because it is positive, it is not able to give up. People who are not positive and who are negative minded people, they will simply give up. But ants don't give up. They have got this outstanding quality, outstanding characteristic of an ant is staying positive. This is something very nice. Next. They look ahead. They don't look back. They always keep looking in front. How to take it ahead? Which way shall I move? Is there some other way out? This is how the ants think. They always look ahead. They don't think about the past and get depressed, which we sometimes do. Okay, we have to think about the present, we have to think about the future. There is no point thinking about the past. Okay, next thing, they do almost everything. Okay, in Marathi, there is one saying called as Mungi Hun Sakar Kha. Okay. Mungi means ant, Sakar means sugar, Kha means this ants, even though they are very, very tiny. It can empty one sack of sugar. That is the power of this ant. Even though it is very, very minute, small, it can complete or do some very huge things. Unimaginable things. Some things which are impossible, even that it can do. That is the power. That is one outstanding quality. That is one characteristic of a and which we all should know and try to adopt. Let me just go on to the next one. 
they are great team players i have seen many a times they are not working alone they always try to work in a team there is a lot of difference between group and a team and here these ants they work like a team and they win it they don't think only about themselves they think of the whole team so these ants are somewhere trying to teach us telling us to observe something and learn for we human beings we also can become great team players we are all there in association now indian senior chamber i cannot do something alone jp cannot do something alone or shiv prasad sir may not be able to do something alone but we all together can do something very very outstanding so we all can become great team players and the next very important thing which i would like to share with you is they are always bubbling with enthusiasm this is something very very nice we can't see their smile but by the movement it is we can always know that it is not lazy i think so i have not seen in my life a lazy ant no i have not seen okay they are always moving they are climbing they are uh, doing something or the other and the movement will very clearly inform us send signals to us that they are moving with lot of enthusiasm they are bubbling with enthusiasm i also come across many such people in my life who are always bubbling with enthusiasm they have won my heart because of this quality of being always enthusiastic yes you can see jp you can see chetan ram you can see few other people amongst our members itself any point of the day any work they will always be emitting that enthusiasm the last point is really very very nice and very very unique and it suits for the phase now we are all undergoing that is the covid 19 lockout situation what is this ants think about winter in summer and think about summer in winter please note this point i will go a little slow with this particular point because i want to make this a little clear we people when something bad happens we don't think about the good days which is going to come in future and when good days are there we don't think about that there might be some bad days or days when things may not be working in our favor but these ants are not like that they think about winter means those times when things are not going to happen they are not going to get food for them they will not be able to come out of their houses and all these things when in summer they'll be thinking about winter and they will store good lot of things for the winter so that they are not going to come across hunger and at the same time when things are going well summer they will once again and uh, the other way round the other way round when winter is there they will all think about good days are going to come and when it is summer good days they are going to plan for the future plan for the winter days wherein they will not be able to get enough food because it will be wet or it will be very cold or most of the places on the ground in places where there are ice and all it will be covered so then they will be left with no food if they store food now in summer they can have something to eat in winter so my dear friends learned friends people who have come across good lot of things in the last 20 30 40 50 years somewhere we should start planning start thinking in this direction covid 19 one month two months three months it may not last very long we have all come across 
30, 40, 50 years. And this is one phase of six months, one phase of one year. Good days are going to come. We have to start planning for that. We should start thinking about that. So that is how we have to face the present situation. So this is something which I wanted to share under the heading Ants philosophy. We should somewhere start thinking and acting like ants in our life to make an everlasting impression. Moving on to the very next thing, B for B is not B for bat or B for something else that we have studied when we were young. I want to share with you some real facts which a B can lead us to a new pedestal, a new level, and we can learn good lot of things from a B like we have seen from an ant. Here comes the bee. And what is it? I would like to share under the heading B. We all know only about B, a busy being busy. Let's see if there is anything more. We have all eaten honey also. Okay, but is it only honey and the busyness that we have to observe in a bee or are there something else also? Let's see. Their unity is undisputed. Like the ants, these people are also known for its unity. Undisputed. They achieve extraordinary things. They have achieved extraordinary things. Okay, so that is one more feature of, uh, one very important feature of a bee. Yes, the second one is once again, something very nice. Always give 100%. If you're talking about bees, they don't give just 50% efforts. They'll not just be putting 75% efforts, 80% efforts, like sometimes we do. In what we like, we give our 100%. In what we don't like, we somewhere don't give 100%. But these small living beings, this bee, which we usually see very, very busy, it always gives its 100%. Whether it is a queen bee, whether it is a drone, or whether it's a worker bee, it always gives 100% in whatever it has been allotted, whatever it's been assigned, whatever is delegated to it. This is something, once again, very nice. Third point, bees division of labor is highly efficient. Division of labor is a point which we generally talk in economics. Okay, any big work, we will divide it among the people who are there in our team. Two people, you do this, three people, you do this, you one, one or two people do the other thing. In the same manner, these bees also do its work in a very fantastic fashion, very efficiently and very remarkable. Some of the, it seems that a bee lives for around five to six weeks, okay? The initial stage when it is just around three days to uh, one week, it has been assigned a work of cleaning the beehive. Later on, it is going to feed the, uh, in the second week or something, it is going to feed the younger bees. Then after it is around three, three weeks, they do a guarding of the beehive. Four weeks, they go in search of food, bring honey from the flowers. Okay, and around five to six weeks, the uh, bee is going to expire. So division of labor, depending upon their capability, their brain capacity also has brain. That is what researchers have uh, uh, told or shown or they have proved, okay? That it is working. It's always busy, but not just being busy. Each one has been assigned a different work. So in cold season, what? In hot season, what? Uh, in the first few months, what? Next few months, uh, sorry, weeks, what? So this is how a bee works. So we can also try to adopt this uh, division of labor in our uh, life, wherever, whenever it is necessary. And 
make a remarkable impression. Bees share, so whatever it gets, whatever work it has been assigned, it shares among the others. Food, it might be, even if there is a problem, it is somehow trying to come forward to solve the problem. For example, if one bee has got some problem on the back, the other bee helps it to see that, to get rid of that particular problem. They share, this is one, one nice quality of a bee. Fourth quality, bees adapt to these surroundings. Yes, I've come across many students. I've come across many of my friends. Some cannot adapt to the situation. Some cannot adapt to the surroundings. My friend here, Minakshi, who is from India, who is from Bangalore, she had to fly all the way to Europe. And the, uh, what do you call, the seasons there, the coldness there, it's not that everybody can adjust or adapt very quickly. Sometimes she's in Chennai and sometimes she's in Europe. Just imagine how uh, the position of a particular person might be. If you are not ready to adapt, you cannot grow, you cannot develop, and you cannot become successful. If you are in Europe, you have to be a European. If you are with a people who are very orthodox, maybe you should also be a little bit like that. You can't be very fashionable in front of them because you'll be the odd man out. So these particular bees, they adapt to the situation or the circumstances, which is something very, very nice. Next, leaves a legacy. Whatever work it does, it leaves a mark. And the next particular generation of it, its babies, its babies and its babies, they also try to do something of the same way. They're all busy. They all do a lot of work. For example, if the queen uh, is not able to hatch the eggs and if it dies, the female workers who are the bees, it will take over the position and do the work of breeding and other things. So this has, bees have got something more. Please Google. There are a lot of other things which are probably you will all be interested to know about the bees. Today in this session, which is connecting to leaving a mark, I have brought to you about five to six points, but there are so many other things which you can learn from an ant, which you can learn from a bee and know it and try to understand also. They are very industrious. They work for two to 12 hours. Okay. It is a small creature. Bees sometimes are not ready to work for 12 hours, but these small creatures are ready to work or ready to slog for two to 12 hours. So if those small creatures are able to slog and work for a long time, why I and you cannot? Bees are honest communicators. I have made this bold. Some of the things I have made it bold because these are the things which probably we can adopt and we can send beautiful signals, right signals to our people around us. Being honest communicators, very, very difficult. Everybody will put filter and talk. I know Balaji is my very good friend. He did a program. Hey, nice man, nice man, nice man. But is it honest? Is it true? Is it the reality? Many times we are hesitant to tell the truth or be honest. Honesty, Mahatma Gandhi ji. After that, how many people are honest? I at least have not seen one another person who is as honest as Mahatma Gandhi, the among so many famous people that I have come across or we have read and all this. Honesty is something very, very difficult. And if you are honestly able to communicate, you can create a wonderful, beautiful atmosphere around you. So this is something about the bee which I would I wanted to share with you all. There are so many things for pollination and other things, for going crops and other things. I, I got to know that uh, bees pay a very, very important role. More than 85% of contribution is the bees, the honey bees. Okay. Moving on to the alphabet C, hum punch, A, A for ant, B for bee, 
and C for cow. Yes, you all seen cow. We all know a couple of things about a cow. Cow is a sacred animal. We all know this and also that it gives milk. But what to learn from a cow? Is there something else? Yes, it is there. Let us know one by one. Cows have oceans of patience. Yes, this is something very nice. Not everybody will have a lot of patience. But I have seen some people who have got oceans of patience. Some successful people are or were very patient and very persistent. Patience is very, very important. If you lose your patience, probably something nice, something good, which is going to come your way will go to somebody else. So cows have oceans of patience. This is one striking feature of cows, which I thought to share with you. You take care of them, they will take care of you. This is also something very, very nice. Not everybody would have interacted with a cow or observed a cow very closely. But those people who have done, I think so, you all will enjoy this particular thing. How well you take care of the cow, the cow is also going to take care of you in the same way. So in the same way, sometimes we also should start taking care of the people around us so that they take care of us. So that's what I think so, uh, one nice learning we can have from the cow. Third point, they expect people to be slow and steady with them. So they, the cows don't want us to uh, be very hasty and uh, in a big hurry and be very fast. Some people like fast people, but cows do not like people who are very fast. When you want to milk the cow very coolly, very calmly, you have to try to go very near it and see that you milk the cow with a lot of affection, love and care. Somewhere you can apply this to your employees because most of you are businessmen here. Even when you are interacting with your employees, they don't expect you to be in a hurry, dump things on them, slowly, slowly, one by one, you start giving the work to them and they'll be ready to serve you happily for years, decades. One of my friend who is Sandeep Badami, he is serving for a TCS company for the last 27 years. He joined, the very first job he joined after his B degree was Tata company. And he's still serving that company for more than 26, 27 years. Now, Tata people or some great people, great leaders, somewhere have to adopt this particular policy of being slow and steady and winning the hearts of people. They take care of their offsprings very well. Yes, I have seen so many mothers. Many mothers do this. Okay. On the same lines, the cows also take very good care of their offsprings. In America, this is not possible. They just take care of their children for 10 years, 12 years. That's it. They are left to be independent on their own. But in India, magungu asti martare, mumagungu asti martare, nalotasha giro magunge tuttirtare. That is India. That is the speciality of India. Okay. But on the same lines, or on the same lines, a cow also takes care of its offsprings in a very, very neat manner. Working women, they are not able to do something of this sort very well. Fathers, they are not able to spend quality time with the children. But I somewhere feel that if the children have to respect us and listen to us over a period of time, we should be able to spend quality time with them between the age of 2 and 10 compulsorily. The more time that you spend with your children between the age of 2 and 10, that is going to work for your lifetime. So please take care of your offsprings like the cow in a much, much better manner. There are various ways in which you can take care of your children. Kindly take care of them and surely they will take care of you. Cows are social animals, okay? They don't want to be alone. They want to interact 
or they want to be with a group heard so we also should somewhere learn to be more social all these organizations like jcs and indian senior chamber today are for those people who would love to be social who would love to interact with people who would love to learn from people irrespective of their age so many people 30 50, 40 people today are not attending this training program because to time pass they somewhere want to update themselves they somewhere want to learn something more they somewhere want to see can we get something else one of my student told sir one the kal in the sakashtu vishayagalo badlagutte when he told i did not understand and this is my own student but later on somebody told me sir there are some stones lucky stones sir you wear this particular stone sir it is going to change your future this is for those people who believe in this for those people who do not believe i can't help you but i tell you that there are lot if you are positive minded even a stone can take you to great heights even a very minor thing can open your mind or give you a wonderful idea to succeed who does not want to succeed who don't want to be called as one of the successful persons okay so cows are social animals let's move on to the next particular animal d for dog yes i know many people sitting here and listening to me have got lot of pets and you have closely observed dogs you probably will be better persons than me because i don't have a pet as a dog dog as a pet but i have seen many people who are very close to the dogs okay i had gone to one of the house when the husband is shouting at the wife the dog barks at the husband this is how it is don't shout to that lady this is how dogs are many of us love dogs we have kept them as our pets they too have lot of lessons to teach us let us see what is there that we can learn from a dog dogs have amazing time sense yes i appreciate people who have got time sense i appreciate people who keep up time i also try my level best every time to see that wherever whenever whatever i am doing i am able to be there in time dogs yes i have seen cows i also i have seen whenever somebody is going to put some food at a particular point of time at that point of time they are there okay if we want it to do something at a particular time go and bring some newspaper some dogs are trained they go and do it go and bring milk yes they are able to do it and they know when we will call when we will pet them when we will try to uh, spend time with them they all know this quite well dogs have amazing sense of time dogs are smart as a 2 year old child that is what research tells 2 year kid today it can do so many things you just give your mobile it will teach you three to five features which you do not know that is the capability of a 2 year child today i do not know when i was a 2 year ch child whether i was that very smart but today's children 9 out of 10 children are super smart and now compare that to a dog if a 2 year child is that very smart and dog is also that very smart what and all can a dog do isn't it smart it is surely smart very loyal to its master this is one outstanding feature striking feature that everybody knows about it being loyal is not that very easy for people being loyal for employees is not that very easy but i have seen some bankers who are so very loyal they have got lot of integrity they have worked with crores of money in the bank with without any mark black mark they have retired so being loyal to our master being 
uh, having good uh, impression about the company, talking good about the company is something very, very important that we all should be somewhere doing. The fourth point is greets very warmly and genuinely, not dramatic. Warmly we also talk, but how very genuine it is, we have to check. So dogs are very, very genuine when they are greeting people, when they are showing their love to masters or the people at home. We should also somewhere be genuine in whatever good things that we are doing. We should also greet people warmly and genuinely. Unconditional love. This is also something very nice about a dog. It gives unconditional love for the people around. Whether it is a small kid, whether it's a grown-up person, whether it is a servant in the house, irrespective of who it is, it will give unconditional love. This is also something very nice. Adopts living in the moment. Yes, dear friends, we all should think of living in the moment. Somebody was telling, when I was telling, I do not know in the college now whether I am preparing for July or August or September. So I was telling Balaji, all that is not going to work. Simply think about what you have to do present. Be in the present. So somewhere this situation now, COVID-19 situation or a lockdown situation, we all somewhere have to enjoy the moment, live in the moment. Don't think about much about the future. Good days will come. Be positive. Keep working. Okay. Then all good things will happen for everybody. Shows a lot of compassion. Dog is known for this. It shows a lot of compassion towards other creatures, the people around you. We should also learn to show a lot of affection, compassion towards the people and creatures around us. Okay, if you are able to do something like this, I am sure that we are we will be able to leave a everlasting impression uh, with the people whom we are mingling with the people who are whom we are interacting. Accepts how it is, whether it is a pomeranian or a Alsatian or a bulldog, however its face is, however its tail is, however its body is, it accepts how it is. Some people. They don't accept how they are. Some people are dark, some people are tall, some people are short. They have got an inferiority complex. But a dog does not have that. How it is, it's happy about it. It is ready to show what other striking features that it has got with the people around and the animals around it interacts. So we also somewhere have to think, accept how we are. We cannot change too much. We cannot wear uh, a makeup every day. Okay, only in public we can wear uh, makeup, but at home, no, it's not that very easy. Okay, so accept ourselves how we are. This is what we should be doing. The last, but something very, very nice, which I would like to share with you after the ant, after the bee, after the cow, after the dog, is E for eagle. Yes, we can learn something really, really unimaginable things from an eagle. Okay, what are they? We all have grown seeing eagles flying in the sky. Now let's know more about it. Flies high. Yes, eagles do not fly in ground level. It flies always above 100, 200, 300, 400 feet and even more. It also flies above the clouds. That is the capability of an eagle. So in every profession that we are, we should also somewhere try to fly high. It has got a very clear and a strong vision. A person whose vision is strong, whose vision is very clear, he can do anything and everything. So my dear friends, have a clear vision and move ahead. You can achieve great
correctness clarity of thought yes what to do first what to do next what to do the five, first five years if i'm starting a business what should be my initial investment what should my investment be after two or three years how many employees should i have in the first few days months years where should i be after completing 10 years of my business all these things if there is clarity in thought it's wonderful the eagle is very very clear in what it should be doing when it should be doing and how it has to catch its prey it's very very clear waits for the right time it is not in a hurry at all it waits for the right time then attacks it then wins over it succeeds this is the thinking of great bird eagle so we should also convert or wait for the right time and convert what we are supposed to convert we have to wait sometimes okay patience is very very important and persistence is very very important we should not give up we should wait for the right time and then make the best out of it yes one more thing it faces challenges it is not ordinary it always wants to face challenges big things it's ready to take risk we should also adopt this method calculated nest i am not telling go and do gambling go and invest 10 crores in shares no calculated risk but something challenging you should keep on doing somewhere uh, i am lucky enough that every year in the last 25 to 26 years of my career every year i have done some new thing or the other one year i got an opportunity to do conduct quiz in around 30 35 years one year i decided that i have to become a trainer and passed some two or three exams one year i started uh, taking some uh, uh, classes for competitive exams so like this i always try to do something new otherwise i will get bored with the work that i am doing every year or every day so you should also take up some new things challenging things so that your life will be more thrilling embraces change yes some people don't want to change they want to simply go by what their father told what their grandfather was doing they want to simply blindly follow it but there are some people who want to go think out of the box do something different be more innovative and they are ready to embrace change i love such people we should always be ready for change if we are not ready for change we will be lagging behind so this is one more outstanding quality of e so so i have spoken to you in the last 40 45 minutes about an ant which is disciplined which has got a characteristic feature of never give up it's very very enthusiasm it is known for its enthusiasm uh, enthusiasm then b it is something which gives you its 100 percent it is ready to adapt to surroundings it is very very busy it is an honest uh, in communicating and it achieves extraordinary things a cow something nice is it is slow and steady or expects the people around it to be slow and steady it is it is ready to be patient and it is a social being dog loyalty unconditional love time sense and it shows a lot of compassion and other things eagle it has got a very clear vision it is ready to face challenges and it is accepts change so these, these are the five things through which i have somewhere projected around 15 to 20 different uh, qualities which you can adopt to live a everlasting impression okay 
if one adopts single kids these above characteristics we can surely leave an everlasting impression so hope you have liked my session on hum panch these are not the only things which we can do to leave a everlasting impression but i have seen uh, apart from this there are so many other things some persons will have very good sense of humor and they will be able to leave a very uh, good impression some people are known for their meticulous work somebody for their uh, creative work some people uh, very much committed to the work some people are very fast so like this these are not the only things which by which you can have a everlasting impression but these are few things which we can learn from these small living beings and adopt it and try to leave a everlasting impression so this is from my end and now i would like some people two members of our indian senior chamber and two non members who are uh, not the members of indian senior chamber to just tell me who has left an impact or left an everlasting impression in your mind in the very first few hours or very first few occasions that uh, you have mingled or interacted with him this is my phone number and you can always give a feedback later to me and uh, i will take up questions after you answer this particular question of mine devar adana avanu ulisidana ivana nodi nodi nint kalthu konta bahala chanagide sir ba ivattu ondondu rindano ondondu nanu paata nanu nortivi bahala nortivi maartivi adara yeno nanu tale hachkolade alla yavudano gahanavagi yochane madadalla nanu aduka adda hello sir bala sir namaste you have made the presentation thank you so much teachers <coughs> every day but you know we never have seen the kind of insights you have drawn it is so tremendously useful and Oh, 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 tell me, Ravi Prakash sir. <laughs> I would like to just interpret. Uh. So the management of of any organization has to know your five ah uh, hum punch. Oh, Basically, oh, what sure. happens? Ah, uh, this is a great learning aid because I worked for more than ten organizations. The management should understand the quality of the particular employee, whether he is a whether he is mm. a cow, whether he is a eagle. The eagle Correct. always thinks only eagles are correct. Ants, uh. cows are all uh, dogs are uh, reckless. Nothing. Okay. But the development of organization and organ they should identify. Yo, this type of person is this. So we require him. We require him. So eagles should not think that. So many times what happens? Many of the organizations are like eagles. Okay, mm -hmm. they think that only eagles are correct. All others correct. are useless. Correct. So correct. this is how where organizations drowns. Even education institution also drowns. like in full information and you give all disciplined information oh thank you thank so you there sir. are so many things to learn from the nature ah, there are hidden correct. secrets you are right there are You're so right. many hidden secrets we have to understand a lot okay. thank you very much sir hey, very thank nice you timlesh sir for joining chala oh fantastic this chidre ah yavde association alli nivu idde aramagi belibo correct we all know what i am trying to tell you is already so many good things are there in the members okay what is one particular thing you can pick up from these five animals and highlight it project it make a better impression of yours okay now changal raya sir is very honest and uh, uh, very open minded and all these things so that is how his impression is shiv prasad sir always very cool calm and he is able to work in the right way so like that uh, sunil sir has got his own uh, plus points basu raju has got uh, uh, his plus points like that if we have already got further we will have to polish it okay if we have not got okay we have to pick up few things and try to make a impression regarding jp if i have to tell i have seen very few people who have who can speak very beautiful kannada very neat kannada and without tension he is able to speak for hours in some very nice kannada language if i have to choose a kannada teacher i think so i will choose jp because he can teach us very nicely 
something like that uh, we can also do it thank you so much sorry sir thank you thank you thank you sir thank you one one thing ready la Uh, now we have told about A B C D of uh, plant, animals, uh, yeah, ant, cow, uh, yes. B, B and E. Yes. Very sir. simple it is, but very informative there. And all the uh, the creatures having some qualities, extra qualities. One is having four or five qualities, another is having four qualities. Correct. Everything is having about four or five qualities. But yes. But for us, for the human being, if you mm. learn one thing from each animal, for example. That's all. Yes, discipline yes. you learn discipline Correct. positive for b you should be busy hard working Correct. for cow you should be patient and social Very for good. d you should be loyalty and for e think high big think big and big vision it plays high for keeping us every tuesday busy and they are not missed a single program yeah, tuesday on these days i thank all the participants and senior members and guests numbering 37 for this program this period so thank you all and i welcome you all and on next tuesday same time so such new program by our training team thank you very much yeah yeah so thank you kamadeep singh ji uh telugu ni dhanyavaadam one minute sir balaji sir ke on on one minute kodi thank you very much okay. for uh, the chapter and all the members the president jp shrinivas sir shrivats sir basuraju everybody and all the audience who have logged in and yes. stayed back uh, for the until the end and uh, yes. you have given some real good feedback i am very very delighted looking forward for one more opportunity in the next two or three months yes, thank you thank you so much See, very thank proud you of you much. sir oh thank you thank very you. proud of you very proud of you thank you sir yes, thank you yes, yes, uh, yes. balaji avare nan kade inda ond erdu maatu yedi sir ah okay balaji avaru a b c d e hampanch andre ellarigu kutuvala yenidu hampanch heltare balaji anta adana a b c d e thumba chanagi kutuvala vakkaravagi ellara ondu aasaktiyanna kerlisi ಮಾಹಿತಿಯನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ತುಂಬಾ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನೀಡಿದ್ದೀರಿ ತುಂಬಾ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಶನ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿತ್ತು ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ನಾನು ಬಾಲಾಜಿ ಝೋನ್ ಟ್ರೈನರ್ ಆದಾಗಿಂದ ನಾನು ತಮ್ಮನ್ನ ಗಮನಿಸ್ತಾ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಪ್ರತಿ ದಿನ ಪ್ರತಿ ವರ್ಷ ನೀವು ಬೆಳೀತಾ ಇದ್ರಿ ಹೀಗೆ ಬೆಳಿಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಎಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಆ ಹಾರೈಸ್ತೇನೆ ಮೊದಲನೇದಾಗಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಜೆಪಿ ಅವರೇ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಜೆಪಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಜೈಸ್ ಸರ್ ನನ್ನ ವಿಶೇಷ ಯು ಆರ್ ಬೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಟು ಗ್ರೋ ಪ್ರೌಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು Yes, yes, yes. Very proud. Huh? Yes, Thank you, sir. One day, one announcement. This is the meeting ID and the password. You can join us on the end of the day. How to gain the happiness and the issue of the day. You can talk about the issue of the day. You can talk about the issue of the day. You can talk about the issue of the day. Coming Friday means July 3rd. Evening, 8 p.m. ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಆಗಿ ನನ್ನ ಜೊತೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ವಿನಂತಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಪ್ರತಿ ಮಂಗಳವಾರ ಈ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಜೆ ಸಿ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೀತಾ ಇರುವಂತಹ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ನೀವು ಪ್ರತಿ ವಾರ ಮಂಗಳವಾರ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಗೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಓಕೆ Thank you, sir. Sir, I'll take your leave. I'll take your leave. Thank you very much. Uh,